Hi, everyone. Michael Brown back with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements Beginning and Intermediate course. In this lesson, we're going to discuss image sharpening, a very important feature. We have exposure, color, and sharpening. This is the sharpness and how crisp your image looks. We're going to talk about what it is, why you need it, and how to apply it. And I'm going to try to simplify it, but it's a little complicated. Let's get started. The first question, what is sharpening? Sharpening is increasing the contrast between lighter and darker pixels, which increases edge definition. Darker gets darker, the lighter gets lighter, you see the contrast. Let me show you an example of that. We're going to zoom up this image here. I just want to double check where we are. And let me do that. Rename, rename, rename. Okay, we're good. Here's an image I took of a landscape. We're going to zoom it way up and look at the pixels. And the area that I want to look at is right in here. You see that the tree looks rather soft. You can't see much detail in there. It's just a little blurry, or it appears to be, at this magnification. Let's even go higher. We're at 600%. Let's go to 700%. You can begin to see pixels, but they're not very distinct. So what we're going to do first is we're going to apply Auto Sharpen under the Enhance menu, Auto Sharpen. This is a fixed amount of sharpening. That's it. You do it or you don't. We'll put it in. And immediately, zoom it up one time, I'm going to do an Undo. That's where we were, and that's where we are. And you can begin to see detail popping out of the image. We're going to apply it a second time. And now you see, I'm going to undo it twice. There's where we started. That was the first time and the second time. And look at the increase in edge sharpness. You can see it really right in here. And if we zoom back out, we look at our image now. We'll get just one more time. There we are. Let's go out twice, and you can see it looks a little soft. Look in the trees over there, and we put it back in twice. And that should be, oh, I went too far. There it is, and there it isn't. It is, and it isn't. And you can see that a lot of detail has come in as we applied the sharpening due to the fact of the contrast of the pixel pixels. That's auto sharpen. So now you say, okay, you put it in twice. When should I use it? And how much should I sharpen? A couple of things that you want to do if you're being precise, if you're just taking a generalized image and you're working in quick or guided edit, put a little bit of sharpening in until the image looks a little crisp and let it go at that. But if we're working in expert edit here, like we are right here, and we're doing really high quality work, you want to be very careful how you do this. The first thing is you want to look at your image to see if it's noisy. Let's say, for example, you took a picture at night or in the late afternoon in a dark area, and you upped the ISO rating on the camera very high, you're going to get a very noisy image. And since sharpening increases the contrast between lighter and darker pixels, if there's noise in your image, when you sharpen it, the noise is going to show more. So the first thing you want to do, and you can do this in the raw, camera raw, or you can do it right here, is you want to do noise reduction if you have any noise. So you go to the filter menu. Let's go to this uh, image here. Filter, noise, reduce noise. And you're going to have to play with it. The more, I'm going to do this a lot just to show you. I'm going to put a lot of reduction in and no detail. And look what happened. The image got far worse than it started. That's because as you reduce the noise, you also soften the existing pixels. So what you have to do is play with the sliders. And usually somewhere in this range will do it. And you you maintain the details. You watch your image as you play with the sliders to keep as much detail as you can in this case, we don't need it on this image. There was no noise. So you take the noise out. 
that gets rid of excess pixels. So do that.